done the work. So I'm going to go through these three questions. Okay, these three questions are actually from past year exam paper. So it's really important that you know how triangle questions can vary along the years. Okay. So for this question number one, it might look simple, but many of you might choose to may have chose to break break up the shape this way. All right, you want to find the small triangle on top, then you find the bigger triangle below. But it's wrong because if I split it up this way, I am unable to find the height and the base because the base is actually two and a something of a square. You don't know whether it's a half of a square or one third of a square. So we cannot just assume that it is half. So how do we solve this question? We have to break the triangle in this manner, okay? So by breaking the triangle in this manner, we know that looking here, the tri okay, let's name this triangle number one, okay? So triangle number one, when I tilt it around, okay, what is the base? So it will look like this, correct? Like this. Okay, I just have to shift it around. If you can't see, turn your worksheet, yeah? So, the base will actually be 5 cm. And what about the height? The height here. The height here will be 3 cm. So, you turn your worksheet and count. So, how do I find the area? Half times base times height. Okay, so it will be equal to 15 divided by 2, which is 7.5. Then now let's look at triangle number 2, the other shape, okay? So I will get, if I turn it around like this, I will get a triangle that looks like this, okay? That's a right angle here. So this will be 3 cm and the base, you count the number of square, you should be able to get 5 cm. So how do you find the area of triangle number 2? This is 1, this is 2, okay? Half times base, which is 5, times height, 3. You get 15 over 2 again, 7.5. So when you add these two together, 7.5 plus 7.5, you should be able to get 15, okay? Remember, on the answer line, you will have to write your units. 15 cm squared. Okay, so if you need time to do your correction, please pause this video now and copy down the corrections. Okay, so now let's look at question number two, the second question. Okay, this whole figure is made up of two shapes, a triangle and a square. Okay, and it says that the side of the square is 40 meter. First, in order to find the area of the whole figure, I need to find the area of a triangle first. Okay, don't get tricked by this question. How do you find area of triangle? Half times base times height, correct? And what is this 37 cm? Is this the base? Is this the height? Or is this just one of the sides? Okay, remember the base and the height must be perpendicular, form a right angle. Over here, you realize that the right angle is here. So we do not need to use this 37 at all. Don't get tricked. Because this is actually your base, which is 40. How do I know this is 40? Because this is a square. Okay, so the first part, in order to find the triangle, so triangle AED, AED, sorry, you will be, it will be equal to half times the base, which is 40, and multiply by the height, which is 12. Okay, so I do my cancellation. Cancel, cancel 1, 20. Okay, you should be able to get 240 over here. So now I know that the triangle is 240. What about the square? So your square B E D C is equal to 40 times 40, which is 1600. Okay? And then in order to find the area of the total figure, I just have to add them together. Okay? 1600 plus 240, you should be able to get 180. Four zero again. Please be very careful. The unit here is in meter, so your final answer it should be one eight four zero meter square, not centimeter square. Okay, please be careful when you are writing your units. Okay, again, if you need to copy the correction, please pause this video and copy down the correction now.